Hi there, this is Mr. Boyd. Today, we are going to talk about how you can free up drive space on Windows 10. No matter how large a hard drive or solid state drive you have in your PC or laptop, there will come a time when you run out of space. There are numerous approaches you can take for freeing up space on your hard drives, and today I will show you how. Okay, let's begin. The first on our list is checking your recycle bin. When you delete files on your computer, Windows 10 does not remove them outright. Instead, it stores them in the recycle bin. That allows you to restore deleted files if you change your mind later, but you end up trading disk space for convenience. To empty the recycle bin to regain storage space on Windows 10, use these steps. Check your desktop for the recycle bin. Double-click the icon, check the contents of the window, and if you are sure that you want to delete those files and folders, click the right mouse button and choose Empty Recycle Bin. If you can't find the Recycle Bin icon on your desktop, open Start. Search for Recycle Bin and click the top result to open the app. Windows 10 reserves 10% of the available space for deleted files. Once the threshold is reached, the system will automatically delete files from the oldest to the newest. You can change these settings by using the Windows plus D keyboard shortcut to view the desktop. Then, right-click the Recycle Bin icon and select the Properties option. Select the Recycle Bin location if you want to configure if you have multiple partitions. For example, Local Disk C is the drive where Windows 10 is installed. Under the Settings for Selected Location section, select the Custom Size option. In the Maximum Size MB field, Specify the maximum hard drive space in megabytes that Recycle Bin can use on the particular partition. After you complete the steps, the Recycle Bin will be able to keep more or fewer files from a particular location, depending on your configuration. Next on our list is using Disk Cleanup App. You can find Disk Cleanup in the Start menu under Windows Administrative Tools, Disk Cleanup, or you can just search for it. Choose the drive you want to clean and press OK. Select the file types you want to delete. If you're unclear about what files are included for each item listed, click the View Files button to check before proceeding. And if you want to delete system files, click Clean up system files. You can then select all of them and click OK. You can also go to the More Options tab and clean up System Restore and Shadow Copies. But keep in mind that if you clean these, you won't be able to restore your PC later if you need to. Next on our list is deleting temporary and downloaded files. You can delete temporary files without running disk cleanup, along with files you downloaded that you may no longer need. Go to Settings, System, and click on Storage on the left panel. Next, click Temporary Files from the list that shows you how your storage is being used on the C drive, and check the boxes for the type of temp files you want to remove before clicking the Remove Files button to delete them. Coming next is managing files using Storage Sense. Storage Sense is a feature built into Windows that can help free up space automatically by removing files you no longer need. Open Settings, System, Storage to view the total space you have available, what space has been used across different content and categories, and how much free space remains on your drive. You will find the Storage Sense option at the top of the Storage Settings screen. Turn on the switch for Storage Sense then click the Configure Storage Sense or Run It Now link. Click the drop-down box under Run Storage Sense and select one of the choices. Every day, every week, every month, or during low free disk space. If in doubt, go with during low disk space. Next, check the box next to delete temporary files that my app aren't using. Click the drop-down box under Delete Files in my Recycle Bin if they haven't been opened for more than. If you don't want Recycle Bin files to be removed, select Never. Otherwise, you can select one of the other choices, such as 1 day, 14 days, 30 days, or 60 days. Do the same for the menu under Delete Files in my Downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than. 
Finally, click the Clean Now button to free up disk space right now. Next on our list is Delete Unwanted Apps. Getting rid of unwanted apps and programs from your computer is another quick way to cut down the amount of used storage on your computer. To do that, open the Start menu and go to Settings, Apps, Apps and Features. Then, scroll through the list, pick the apps you don't use anymore, and select Uninstall to delete them. Next on our list is removing more temporary files. Windows 10 also contains large amounts of other temporary files that you can safely delete. Start by pressing Windows plus R to open the run box. Then type percent temp percent and select OK. Delete all the files and folders within the directory that shows up. Next on our list is disabling reserved storage. Windows 10 uses a feature called reserved storage to ensure it has sufficient space to download and install future operating system updates, but that also translates to multiple gigabytes of lost storage. Start by pressing Windows plus R to open the run box, then type forget it and select OK. On the registry editor window that shows up, go to H key underscore local underscore machine forward slash software forward slash Microsoft forward slash Windows forward slash current version forward slash reserve manager. Double click with the shipped with reserves. Then make sure value data is set to zero, select OK and exit the registry editor. You must restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Next on our list is disabling hibernation. Instead of shutting down your computer completely, you can put it in hibernation, a state that allows the computer to start up faster. When your computer goes into hibernation, it saves a snapshot of your files and drivers before shutting down, and this takes up space. If starting up quickly isn't your priority, you can reclaim some valuable hard drive space by disabling Hibernate altogether because the hiberfill.sys file can take up huge gigs of drive space. Click the Start button and search for Command Prompt. Right-click Command Prompt at the top of the search results and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, enter PowerCFG slash Hibernate Off and then hit Enter. Next on our list is rebuilding the search indexer. The Windows search database can sometimes grow very large because of the amount of content that needs indexing or indexing issues, which can be why the system drive is running out of space. If this is the case, clearing and rebuilding the database and modifying the index items can significantly reduce storage use on Windows 10. To rebuild the index of Windows 10 to free up space, use these steps. Open Settings. Click on Search. Click on Searching Windows. Under the More Search Indexer Settings section, click the Advanced Search Indexer Settings option. Click the Advanced button. Click the Index Settings tab. Under the Troubleshooting section, click the Rebuild button. Click the OK button. Once you complete the steps, the system will clear and rebuild the Windows Search Features Index database, which can significantly reclaim a lot of space. And the last on our list is saving files to a different drive. If your computer has multiple hard drives or a partitioned hard drive, you may find yourself running out of space on one drive or partition. Luckily, you can fix this by changing your default save locations for apps, documents, music, pictures, and videos. To do this, open the Settings menu and go to System, Storage, and click the link at the bottom for Change where new content is saved. You can select a partition or a drive, even a removable drive, like a USB flash drive or a memory card that is connected to your PC to save files for categories including apps, documents, music, photos, and movies. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.